Good day. T with Travis. Uh, today is Wednesday, August 27th, and uh, not a real exciting morning so far. Um, a big report for today was durable goods orders, which is basically uh, big transportation type vehicles, any, any big ticket items, um, was up high, a lot higher than expected. So typically what happens is the stocks will rally because of it, because it's exciting news for the economy, because of obviously sales of uh, high, high purchase ticket items. Um, and it usually pulls money out of bonds, but didn't really affect the bonds too much this morning because the Fed, um, uh, it's, uh, what is he, Lo um, President Lockhart, he's the Fed Reserve uh, President of Atlanta, um, stated that the worst of inflation is soon to be behind us. And so with that terminology, anytime an, any Fed per, uh, president makes a statement like that, it hits the markets and then they have to digest it and then they react to it. Well, that's positive news if inflation is behind us because that's the worst enemy of mortgage-backed securities or, or uh, mortgage rates, more importantly to you, how it affects your interest rate. So that's what's going on today with that important information from uh, the, um, President Lockhart speaking um, to a group of people this morning, which is great news. The only other thing that's kind of affecting that could possibly make rates worse this week is uh, uh, oil prices going up. They're already up a little bit. They're up to so $118 a barrel, which they're up from 113 last week. Um, part of his speculation of this hurricane uh, coming in, uh, and depending on the, end, on the um, category it becomes right now, it's just a tropical storm, but they say it possibly could go to a category five hurricane, and if that hits the U.S., obviously we could know the devastation that could occur. What that does, it shuts down oil platforms and oil production in the Gulf area, and of course uh, affecting oil production. So that often uh, causes speculation and prices to go up. So if oil prices go up, it's going to be a knee-jerk reaction causing mortgage-backed securities to, to go up. So if that hurricane does become more of a, or if that tropical storm be becomes a hurricane and you see it in the news here in the next few days, expect mortgage rates to go up slightly. But for right now, we're in a, in a bias to, to float. Like again, with the, the statement made this morning with the worst behind us, um, and taking that bias, it's good news. Um, also, last final, final thing is, I would really encourage you to go to Nelton.com. If you're not watching this video on my website and you're watching this from another uh, blog or something, uh, go to Nelton.com. It's N-E-L-I-T-O-N.com. That's my website. It's an interactive website. These videos are posted there. But also, um, I'm going to do a series of videos on everything from the USDA loan, which is still 100% financing available, uh, the new FHA reform, which will require 3.5%. And eliminate most down payment assistance programs if they're a profitable organization. And so we'll find ways to get around that and find uh, nonprofits that will still help um, and assist in that process. And, and to actually truly get a loan to be able to have 100% financing still. But as of October 1st, those programs are going away. And I've got two notices in the last two days from Countrywide and Wells Fargo stating that if you don't have your loan your loan package approved by the underwriter by this Friday, um, you're going to be out of luck to do the down payment assistance programs. The problem is the program ends October 1st, but uh, the lenders, the investors still have to sell this, this uh, loan on a secondary market. And if, someone, if no one's buying it with these down payment assistance programs after October 1st and they haven't sold it off their books yet, then they're stuck with these loans. So they're, they're kind of shorting that, that window time. Uh, as of this week, so a lot of people are saying, well, gosh, sure, if you get your buyers to close by October 1st or find a place by October 1st, that's not even the case in most places now. I, I doubt there will be very few after this week that will still be available uh, to use that program, even though it doesn't end until October 1st. So just a little warning there. Other than that, uh, nothing on the economic front today that should come out. Great Olympics, no terrorism activity, so that helped a lot. Uh, but no real global events going on that should have, uh, impact rates till tomorrow. So I'll update you tomorrow. Have an awesome, uh, wonderful Wednesday, and we look forward to serving you. And be blessed.